Welcome everybody to week two, part one of Gianni Game Day's double header. In the first game up, we have San Diego State traveling to the Rose Bowl to battle UCLA. Now the Bruins, they had a less than impressive performance when they traveled to Nippert Stadium in a loss against Cincinnati. In San Diego State, they may as well have lost in a poor offensive output against Weber State, winning 6-0 at home. So we've got two angry football teams looking to battle it out to prove to everybody exactly how good they are. Are you ready for some California football? Because I am in this week's doubleheader version of Gianni Game Day. Gianni Game Day. Let's get right into it with my favorite segment, Know Your History. We'll cover some basic history between UCLA and San Diego State. UCLA has owned this series. They have never lost a football game against the Aztecs, winning 21 games and tying just once. That single tie happened 95 years ago in 1924. The Aztecs pushed the Bruins to the brink, tying the game 13-13. It's been nearly 10 years since the last game between UCLA and San Diego State, with the Bruins taking home the victory, 33-14. to That was Rocky Long's first year as defensive coordinator for San Diego State. Rocky Long, the current head coach for the Aztecs, used to coach at UCLA from 1996 to 1997 as defensive coordinator. Let's see if Long can earn the Aztecs' first victory against UCLA this weekend. And now it's time for the breakdown. We'll start with UCLA. I expect them to be extremely angry with how they performed last week and really step it up a notch, especially on offense. Watch out for Chip Kelly to add a few wrinkles in the offense to create some passing opportunities for quarterback Dorian Thompson Robinson. And Dimitri Felton, he had a great game last week passing or catching the ball and running the ball, so expect him to um, pick up where he left off. However, if star running back Joshua Kelly is still out for this week, I don't think UCLA will be able to pull away from SDSU, which will keep the game close. On the defensive side for the Bruins, expect another big game from Chris Barnes, Elijah Gates, and Antonio Maffi. All three nearly had double-digit tackles in last week's game. However, with the absence of Keyshawn Lucier South due to academic reasons and Darnay Holmes because of an injured ankle, expect them to struggle again this week and with another talented running game with SDSU, I don't think they'll be able to um, stop them quite as well as they want to. They had a tough time against Cincinnati with Michael Warren in the second, so I think they'll continue to struggle at the line of scrimmage and with the running game. And now let's talk about San Diego State. We'll start on the offensive side of the ball. Their offense was non-existent last week, only mustering up two field goals against Weber State. If offensive coordinator Jeff Horton can't get creative on the offensive side of the ball, especially through the passing game, then expect another slug match this week. Even the heralded Aztec rushing attack was struggling last week. And they have really great running backs with Jordan Bird, Chase Jasmine, Jawan Washington. They should be able to pound the rock against UCLA. However, the Aztec offensive line is a little depleted this season. I would expect a similar result between um, UCLA and Cincinnati. However, because they're so injured up front, I don't know if the Aztecs will be able to apply the pressure like Cincinnati did last week. As for the Aztec defense, they will be stout, as always. They have playmakers like Kiava Tizino, Troy Cassidy, and Tariq Thompson. They should create a lot of pressure on the UCLA offense. Especially with the 3-3-5 defense, they're going to create a lot of confusion for young quarterback Dorian Thompson-Robinson. Now, if Joshua Kelly is in the game, then that's a game changer because he's going to be able to make plays left and right and put a lot of pressure on the Aztec defense to stop him. Now, because the uh, Aztec offense won't be able to probably move the sticks a lot, the Aztec defense is going to be on the field a lot during this game, which 
tends to lead to more mistakes, and that will be the difference in the game. And now it's time for the hardest part of the episode, prediction time. Because there's so many question marks heading into this Saturday, like is Darnell Holmes gonna play? Is Joshua Kelly gonna play? Is the Aztec offense gonna show up? This one is the most difficult one of the season. I do think UCLA is gonna get the victory. They're gonna prove to everybody that they can win at home. However, now I have to decide by how much. <laughs> I think Vegas has it about like seven, eight points for UCLA with the over under of about 47. I think it opened up at 51. Definitely take the under. Both offenses are not going to be able to score that many points against each other's defenses. UCLA will get the victory 23 to 13. Thank you for joining me for my analysis of game one for my doubleheader this weekend. Be on the lookout for game two's analysis between Stanford and USC.